Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I still say overall this 50% bonus offer is underwhelming compared to what it could be with the 2022 champions or at least half of the new ones if that's like the cutoff because some people have said in comments I don't think it's realistic to expect that. I remember we used to see it on July 4th. They'd say the first five or six champs that were new that year you can try to get them in a crystal um, but of course that was a couple years ago. Uh, I'm sort of tempted to buy one Odin, but even then, I'm not convinced. I don't know. I, my six-star shards are fine, and the champions that I am would look to have, I already have, maybe not Awaken, but at least have in each of these years, thanks to the Wish Crystals from Cyber Week. With that being said, my alliance mate, Big E78, Chose a hundred dollar opening of all 2019 champions looking for maybe Dr. Doom, as several of you are still looking for Doom. So I have not, as always, watched this before I play. Let's pause it at anything exciting. Okay, so first crystal is a six star Annihilus. Very first one. And two five stars on top of that. It's hard to do much better than that. In fact, it's kind of nice to do that because if you had two six stars, like if you had a six star Elso and or a six star thing with Annihilus, you might have a choice to be made. And it always seems to work out when I open these that my two six stars and the ten crystals I open are in the same crystal. So you have to sacrifice one. And of course, the others are like three and four stars mainly. But uh, what a start. One six star and ten crystals. This is actually worth it, which is saying something. Let's go to uh, the second crystal for Big E. Man. Can you go two for two? I've never done that, by the way. It's so rare to get a six star in these period, nevertheless the first crystal that pops up. Second one. Okay. Shout out to Allison, not a hacker. Her beloved favorite champion in the game that she does more work with a three star than I do with six stars. The Hawkeye version of Ronin. Double six star to start off. Now, is that worth it by itself? Because you think about it. That means you got two six stars plus 15,000 six star shards, which really is three and a half six star basics at least. All the rest of these crystals we haven't even seen yet, plus the 4,300 units. That is a much better value than most people will get. Wow. All right. Well, he just did something I have literally never done. Can he go three for three to start out? That would be essentially insane. And no. Instead, he gets a six star if you add in two of those three champs together. Uh, that's that's what happens when you're due, my friend. Third six star out of four crystals could still happen. But now he has a run of five out of six three stars and was kind of lucky to get that four star Mr. Sinister. And now you're seeing the average. This makes me feel better about my own quote-unquote luck most of the time in these. And there's another th double three-star. I think on average you should get two Nexus Crystals to have all three stars twice per ten. And boy, just to continue to accentuate the luck at those first two. We've not seen a five-star since either. There's Doom. Oh, where's the six-star Dr. Doom? You have the four, you have the five, you need the six. Two more, and we cannot see a third six-star unless you end it how it started. No. Well, you still got two six-stars, and maybe, just maybe, at the end of this, he'll use his six-star shards to open a bonus six-star. I don't know. That is the nice thing about at least the Paragon level offer. You're guaranteed to either open a six star featured with the shards or one and a half basic so if you strike out in the 10 crystals for six stars you still have a backup option with the actual shard count but he did not open the six star at least not on screen well it started out historic but it dried up pretty dang fast i think that is to be expected given what usually you can expect in the drop rates of these crystals. Uh, shout out to my alliance, AOA, Big E78. 
you had Big L as in Big Luck, and then you had Big L as in a loss of five and six stars appearing. That first crystal was really the uh, cinematic culmination of your luck. You want to know, of course, why didn't Elsa or Thing appear in the crystals toward the end that gave you nothing but three stars like this thing? Why can't why can't five star Elsa or Thing appear there, huh? It's just the way the RNG crumbles. Either way, great data. I'm sure I've got plenty of other videos coming in, but I wanted to shout out my alliance mate first as he said, go for it to react to his video. Shout out AOA. Shout out all the great alliances out there. Merry Christmas Eve Eve. Thanks for watching.